My name is Paul O, and I'm a mechanical engineering professor here at Drexel University. And our most recent project has been the DARPA Robotics Challenge. It started off in October of 2012 when uh, teams around the world were announced as participating in this worldwide effort for disaster response robotics. So Drexel led a team that consisted of nine other schools, and it leverages the uh, Hubo humanoid uh, which was developed and designed out of KAIST, but is using a lot of the software architecture that was developed out of Drexel. You know, robots were kind of this, this, this futuristic sort of thing, and now they're really here. They're really, you know, they're, they're tangible. They're just about ready to be, uh, you know, seen in everyday life, and I think that's very exciting. There's just an enormous number of little things that people take for granted involving driving uh, that to program a robot to do are actually, you know, journal papers and, you know, year of research kind of level problems in and of themselves. We really have to come up to speed in a hurry. So there's a lot that needs to get done at the same time. So we're sort of figuring out how to use the robot while we're figuring out what's the challenge going to be while we're figuring out what the best approach is to actually solve the problem. So it's a lot all at once. You know, these robots could actually be used for something that saves people's lives. So all of those things coming together and that my only answer is how do you not work on it if given the chance. And good morning everyone and welcome to the 2013 Dharma Robotics Challenge here at the beautiful Homestead Miami Speedway. It's expected to be hot competition inside the garages and paddocks. It is a collection of over a dozen of the world's top roboticists participating in a very compressed timeline to the full view of the public. Again, these were unprecedented events, but when we were out in the field, we showed that we can actually have Hubo drive the vehicle. It didn't make it to all the way to the end, but I think it opens people's eyes to see that actually we can have a robot that could drive a utility vehicle. They saw Hubo climb the ladder and made it all the way to the top and then it slipped. But that's part of the realities that we see in robotics. They could be very finicky machines. Uh, what worked very well in the laboratory doesn't always work when there is sunlight glaring on the sensor or there's 10 mile per hour gusts that blow. So it was a very positive experience. Yes, it takes an enormous amount of effort, but I think everybody that does participate grows much stronger because of it. But we're in it for the long term, and it's not just so much about this competition. You know, competitions come and go, but disasters will always be there. And so how is it that we take these lessons learned? How do we take advantage of these great opportunities for us to kick the tires of our robots? This is something that doesn't always come, and so that is something we want to keep on taking full advantage of and continue to also be able to be amongst the best and to learn from the best and hopefully also teach the best. <laughs>